Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Mechanics of Starcraft Terran, and today we are here to talk about the <clears throat> Marek's favorite unit, the Battle Cruiser. So, the like Battle Cruiser operation. Not... Sorry. I would like to argue that his favorite unit is not the Battle Cruiser. It's actually one of my favorite Terran units. Not gonna lie. Exactly, well, Terran units. Well, he, he wrote it in the chat today, so he, he, he likes to rush battle cruisers. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I try, yeah, it's my default. Okay, I'm pissed off. I need to have some fun at this game strategy, and now it's not working as much anymore. And I'm kind of sad because that was still kind of lost um, me. Well, okay, so today here we have Marik, <laughs> Potato Lisk, Battle Cruiser Operation, uh, more deep. Hello. And Fancy. Hey, hey, hey. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and uh, Albert. Albert. Uh, okay, so hey, how do hey, we hey. start on this one? Well, where do we start? That's the better question. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, basically, I guess we can start with discussion that this is, there's not one battle cruiser class, but there are multiple of them. And yep. They're different for Brood War, and they're different for Winds of Liberty, obviously. Really? Yeah. So... Where like, was that written? Actually, it's in the, the campaign. Because yeah. the, really? the, the class of battle crews that actually changed, is like they actually, like, talk about it a little bit in one of the cinematics. Hmm. Well, I can't remember too much sense. of the details right off the top of my head because of the fact I'm pretty tired. It's the same thing with like the siege tanks, how there's two different classes of siege tanks yeah. in the different <clears> games. <throat> and it, it makes sense that you have different yeah, models. Different models. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. different strokes for different folks. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And you, know, and you have to you keep abreast of the technology. <clears throat> so, so literally when you have like new... Uh, new technologies, or your enemy has new technologies, you have to adapt and update. Well, of course. So, that's what we're here for. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the most, like, the classes we usually see on, in cinematics and and stuff, uh, so it is either a Leviathan class battle cruiser, which is a great battle cruiser. Like, like the one we saw crashing down in the... Honest yes, in the cinematics, planet? indeed. Is that thing fucking ginormous? Yeah. And, um, well, they're called flying fortresses for a reason. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't enough. really it really doesn't fit the size that uh the minotaurs are supposed to be. I mean, they're only supposed to be about 560 meters by 82 uh, well, meters. Well, you see it's like in the wiki it's written that it is a gorgon class. Oh. But uh, this one is a leviathan class, so this one is larger pretty much. So <laughs> so like the, the, the one that can be used in space and on like in the atmosphere is a behemoth class and it is the one we see in game and and there as well there are two behemoth class there's an old behemoth class battle cruiser and there is a new behemoth class battle cruiser which is well brood war in winds of liberty yeah um, do, do you know what the main differences are i think mainly the size but uh... size and i believe probably the armor Armor uh, and, uh, and armaments, firepower. Obviously, weapons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just logical. The clear should be bigger thing. Let's put bigger weapons. Yeah. Yeah. And they also have different Yamato cannons, which we'll talk yes. about later. Mm -hmm. Oh, did not know that. Well, yeah. Wiki is our I answer, never... so. <laughs> <laughs> um, because well, Wiki is our that really right. bothers me about the lasers. Lazy. And that, that is something I would want to complain about, but I will do it later, when we get to the weapons. Yeah. Why not we just do the weapons now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Lasers move in the freaking speed of light. They don't go pew 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 and shoot things that look like tiny marbles with traces. Fire. Yeah. Fire. Marbles with fire. <laughs> That's what they look like. And... I accept the whole shield battery premise, and it has huge reservoirs of energy. Everything goes, really. But I guess I might have an explanation fast. for that. Hmm? I might, because uh, <clears throat> you see, when uh, you're shooting pretty much from the well, from the mid atmosphere, mm -hmm. so for a laser to get down, like it might scat like. 
why why do we get the why do we get those small burps? Because first it's like a rapid fire laser, so it's it's like pew 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 pew, and uh, second one it might scatter off the atmosphere or maybe like the smog of battlefield or something, so it might scatter like that, like inside for a bit, so we can actually like see the trace and see the laser. The the, pro the main problem that I have with it is the travel time. If it was uh, more instantaneous, I would feel better about it. Well, to, 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 I, I'm trying to think about it. <laughs> no, it's, it's the literal travel time from the battle cruiser to the target. It, it, it takes time, and even if it is high in the atmosphere, it shouldn't take more than like a, a split a, second. A part of yeah. a second, yes. Yeah, fair so enough. So I just find that pretty ridiculous. Like, I would expect that they would have some mechanisms to compensate for dispersion in the atmosphere and it makes sense to send pulses of laser and not a straight beam but Why? because of dispersion and dispersion shooting, and down shooting through the ionosphere and other icky icky uh, Why? electromagnetic wave well, you got, you, to make a laser just as powerful inside an atmosphere as you would in space, you have to put much more power into it um, to Why? have the same level of... Because the atmosphere just uh, <laughs> disperses it. it and there well, it, is not it, it is not only an atmosphere. It's usually... Uh, well, the gravity in s itself... The what? Well, uh, y y we know that light kind of bends by gravity and all that stuff, so may maybe... I don't know. Terrans are gravity benders. That's all, that's all I'm saying. But, but you have like several problems with lasers. Since lasers are electromagnetic radiation, the, the power decreases... Um, mm. like, yeah, good point. With the square of the distance. It doesn't... First yeah. it decreases with distance and it decreases with the square of the distance. So you, you basically have to pour a lot of power only to, to cause... Um, <clears throat> does effective damage from that distance, and yeah. and you lose power in the atmosphere because some of the energy just gets transferred to the atmosphere, and the atmosphere disperses the pulse itself, and what was like maybe um, for example a tenth of a second pulse would reach the target as a second pulse. Yeah. Uh yeah. Maybe that's why they did it so it fires in uh, small burps. So it is like the energy required for each of them is smaller. So maybe it's a time to recharge, like yeah, and prevent overheating. Yeah, yeah, and prevent overheating, so, of course. Prevent overheating would probably be the biggest, um, the biggest issue. Yeah, the, yeah, that's also how the Marines' guns worked, but that's not the. Yeah, that's not this topic yet. <laughs> and why? Why do the model have little missiles attached at the side? They look like missiles. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, to make it look hmm. cool. Um, I guess Fair it enough. is. If if you'll go go to the like different topic, I guess they're like uh, propulsion engines. Because uh, you see, the point is like you can't. Like if you move in a straight line, you move in a straight line. You cannot rotate, and to to just to to rotate the battle cruiser a bit, or or just even to turn, you need to have something on the side to turn it. So mm -hmm. I guess those like torpedoes, missiles, whatever they are, they're well, they're like propulsion engines, or like control yeah. engines, just to turn. Well, yeah, to give any, anything that large any sort of maneuverability, you're going to need to have. Uh... Lots of engines and several thrusters all over the place. Otherwise, it's just going to be extremely yeah. hard to handle. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what: putting engines, pu putting such strong engines on the wings, mm. I, I would expect them to break, just to snap off. Oh, uh, the hmm. wings are probably reinforced to handle the it stress. It is new because they are the wings yeah. of liberty. Yeah. <laughs> Good but, one. <laughs> if you Good notice one. In the model. Yeah, the, there are actually four visible thrusters. Yeah, and yeah, and that's the kind. I mean, they I... they do enable you to have like maneuverability. You just choose which thruster to push out from. Yeah. And since you're in space, you 
Uh, I don't think they ever land space. those battle cruisers in space. Uh, okay. Why would they land it? The, the, the well, they wouldn't land it, but they do have them go in and outside of atmospheres. Yeah. They have to, they have to um, land they get... it eventually. They'll run out of fuel. Or um, they'll... They oh, actually, why, why not? They, they actually oh, answered. They answered. They answered that question in the Brood War campaign, and the fact that they don't. They never bring the battle cruisers to planet surface. They have space stations. Yeah. For fuel. Yeah, yeah. Up, fuel above the pl- like in orbit around the planet, so that way they never actually had to go into the, and they don't have to go to ground. They just pull up into these space stations and fill up. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty yeah, much that now, a CV is also question. like rocket tank. Yeah, so that that brings up the question: How do the SCVs fix the battle cruiser? On the battle because field. fuck logic. <laughs> yeah, because of balance. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where uh, balance takes place to logic. Well, yeah, they, they had to do that. But basically, mm-hmm. it is a space construction vehicle, so we, yeah. we could make some allowances for that. It, it, uses, it uses the little thrusters on his fucking back to jump onto the battle cruiser and drill it in the anus. That, that's, how it, that's how it works. <laughs> the magical and then the battle anus. cruiser moves and you no longer have any of your SCVs. Just squishes them. Yeah. No, it's it's not that it squishes them. It's just like the turbines just melt everything behind them. Speaking of well, the the turbines, how do you think they work? Um, uh, magic. magic. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess they're just like standard Terran engines, but mostly improved because well, yeah, but... sand god called fusion we can do whatever yeah. we want yeah so well yeah but even if you're using cold fusion you have many kinds of propulsion technologies so you know this is mechanics of starcraft let's yeah stick around let's... and think about a way it could propult Bolt. <laughs> um mm, 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 mm. i know only about nuclear engines not about Fusion engines. Well, I guess... Well, n- nuclear engines are mostly like steam engines, but not really steam. They, like, well, the energy produced, it goes to temperature, like to well, heat no, energy. No, there are nuclear engines, like space nuclear engines. Uh, for, for example, you, there is an engine where you, um, uh, you inject uh, ura- gaseous uranium uh, into a chamber, and... It is so dense that it uh, triggers um, it triggers nuclear fusion between the uranium uh, uranium nuclear nuclei, and then you can also inject hydrogen gas, and that triggers nuclear fission uh, fusion between the the hydrogen uh, uh, nuclei. So you can have both like nuclear fusion and nuclear fission uh, mm. uh, propulsions like that. You could also um, inject. Uh, Marvel. You, you could <laughs> inject <laughs> hydrogen over splitting uranium, uh, like solid uranium, and then <laughs> that also works. So there are many options, but I don't know. Like, thank God for cold fusion. What the hell do you do with that? How do you use it? Um. <laughs> well, it's just a way of producing energy. So I mean, that other than that, I mean, one of the basic engine layout being. Like the proportion system being similar to as if it was a nuclear engine or something similar. Mm-hmm. Like all I mean, engines it, like, are. Yeah, go ahead. Like, I don't see how the, it being fusion would change that much of the proportion layout. Is just ha- changing how it's actually getting the energy. Yeah, I, or am I mistaken? I think it would just give it more power to work with versus actually changing how it moves. Mm, yeah. Well, Unless, no, I, mean, I don't really know, like, I don't really know about space age uh, engines at all. Like, uh, well, I can't they're pass- all oh. they all are based on just throwing matter backwards. Yeah. And the the faster you throw yes. it, the better it is. Yeah. So. So what matter do we have to throw? Maybe they use energy to generate matter and throw it out. <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, it's, no, it's, no, ridiculous. Do, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They don't so. use energy. They use ants. <laughs> uh, well, we don't have Panera here, ants but you stuck can. Entangled ants. Fucking water slides. 
Okay, sure. Well, uh, you did say something about the terms using gravitic technology. Hmm. Maybe they could use it to, like... Maybe. On the other hand, you see, like, we do not know anything about, like, warp travel or mm -hmm. warp space, as you call it. And maybe they use, like, energy or something to synthesize uh, some kind of fuel for the atmosphere. But for a gravitic drive or what the warp drive they use, maybe it's something different. No, I'm sending you an image right now. Mm -hmm. I hope you can understand what's going on over there. Why is it not sending? Uh -huh, okay. I got it. Yeah, I got uh, it as well. The, okay. Oh, okay. I All see good. it. Yeah. Well, I'm so what, what they do there is they create like a difference in potential between mm -hmm. two parts in space, and the difference just lets you slide forward. So, well, yeah, but basically, you cause a bend in the fabric that is the sheet of time, and you slide down the and space. slope. No, don't forget space. Space yeah. comes with it. It's space time. Continue. It's part of space. the package. Okay. All right, but anyway. Uh, you get what you I'm saying. It's the whole tower. It's the whole tower plane of assistance being bent, and you're sliding on it. Yeah, pretty okay. much. An infinite water slide, which propulses you to victory. It's like you have <laughs> a marble. It's like you have a bed, and you have a marble on the bed. You put your finger in front of it, so that way it, the marble comes towards your finger. And you just keep it going across yeah, the bed. Yeah, you keep yes. moving the finger. Okay. I, I just, I just made that extremely simple. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's again. understandable. On the other hand, can I raise another question? No. Uh, do you think, like, because this is warp travel technology, which is apparently what Protoss with their magic use, so why do you say... <laughs> Well, Zabby just, just like just had an eye switch. That's why he's not here. <laughs> uh, well, so... Do do we really require only a giant platform, aka battle cruiser, which can only travel through like which can travel through warp, or do we have anything smaller? Like I don't know. Well, well Vikings maybe traveling through warp space. Why not them? Well, if, if you um, have actually, kind of... I think with the Terran arsenal, um, the only thing that they have that has enough power on like on board to actually cause a Dimensional rift, aka warp, um, warp speed, would probably be the battle cruiser, and I think that they might have it to a point where it can open up this 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 jump, and other air vessels nearby can join it in the jump. But the battle cruiser has to initiate it. Yeah, I think only I the battle cruiser has enough energy to open up that that mm -hmm. hole. Well, the the cool thing about the the thing I sent you is that it negates the need for, like, ripping apart space-time. All you have to do is create a, a bend which is big enough, and you could just slide down it and... At super speed. Yeah, and, like, the you don't go over the... You don't pass the speed of light, but you have covered a greater distance than light would have covered, so you technically do pass the speed of light. So maybe you just need a big enough generator for the yeah. battle cruiser to, well, to hold, and well, it creates the bend, and everything slides down that bend with it. So, like, once again, battle cruiser is necessary because it's the only thing that has enough energy to do so. Yeah, maybe it's just, you know, a, a big, cumbersome generator thing. It, and... it probably has a fairly massive fusion reactor on board. Let's face mm -hmm. it. It's well, it's not on board, fusion... it's on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, fusion core is on Earth. Just... Well, the oh, fusion oh, core probably helps with the the research and the stability of fusion technology. While you have the fusion reactor on board, the actual battle cruiser itself to provide the energy on board. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fair I know that, that this fight. is not what they do in the fusion core. What do they do in the fusion core? They do the fusion core dance. Of course they do. Indeed. Do 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 anyway. do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, that just reminds me of when I actually went to a StarCraft 2 tournament, like a LAN tournament, I actually went to watch one. And Day9 was there, and he got the entire Dude. audience to do the Fusion Core dance. That's awesome. Oh, oh god. That's sweet. And I, I had no idea what the fuck was going on, but I found myself doing it. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? 
<laughs> Day nine, the StarCraft God. He can command as soon as he'll be writing the ten StarCraft commandments, which we could probably simplify down to three. Just like George Carlin did with the Ten Commandments that Moses. Oh my God! Up. I remember. Yeah. That, but let's, not, let's not discuss that right now. Let's yeah, and, and we're going on a tangent. Guys. Actually, yeah. no. Let's discuss that because this is my job to pull everyone on an entertaining tangent. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I just, later, please. With bullshit. At least because... let's keep, try to keep the tangents on these Starcraft related. Let's try to stay no. out of religion. No. No. Yeah. Uh, unless no. you're discussing Protoss. Okay. Yeah, of course. You can discuss Protoss religion, that's okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's StarCraft okay. related. Imagine that um, Bob the Zealot was handed Ten Commandments on a hill up on Iron. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can uh. simplify that down to three things. <laughs> okay. So much right please, but, uh, people, people have apoplexy when you talk about religion. Do not yeah, kill it's in the name of another, unless it's in the name of your god, in which case it's negotiable. Three. Well, um, help me out of this, this is the third one. Look, uh, potatoes. No, your motto cannons! Yes, your motto cannons are, are excellent, <laughs> especially for killing. Not your motto cannons, it's, um... I watched your motto cannon on lean because I was so I... fucking bored, okay? They, they, they are big plasma super soakers. Oh, so... Yeah. Hey guys, my battle cruise is operational and Yamato is ready to fire. <laughs> I amoted so, your queen in the face last night. <laughs> so... So, well, the, Yam the Yamato Yama cannon <sighs> was probably designed by a guy who watched too much DBZ and was like, I want to make a real-life Kamehameha. And that, spent, that was his life's work's culmination right there. Yes, except the um, they, forgot, they forgot half of the um, animation where you, the battle cruiser captain yells Kamehameha while drunk. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, I saw the picture of it, him saying Kamehameha Mayor in some like, very extreme Russian accent. While well, showing on the on the profile picture, him doing the hand um animation as well. Th that would be too much. Like, do you, that was, do that you was know? Like, it would be like five like, minutes to charge system? one cannon. Yeah, like, nobody got time for that. Ain't, ain't well, let, let's let's face it. Why does the Yamato cannon have such it have the build up rate that it does? It's Taking a massive Dryer. amount of energy out of the fusion reactor and putting it into one big discharge. So if you have a really, really big ass fucking charge time, your motor can is gonna be more powerful. Yeah, the so, longer the yeah, charge, the greater the output. No Maybe you can wait five minutes for that because that's like, oh my god, hi, I'm gonna one shot it. Guys. Yeah, like you can uh, blow up an entire planet. Uh, well, as as I can, I mean, for a greater, uh, for greater charge time, you need more energy, right? Yeah, but your energy pool is very limited. Well, so it probably it is the state in which it is now. It is probably the optimum, more or less. Wait, did we so go like over the why maximum damage was minimum was minimum energy. Wait, did we go over why it needed a charge time? Because I was talking to someone because they lost their key. That's not important, but yeah, yeah we we kind of did. Okay, well, yeah, here's, not, not here, you guys are all wrong, and I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, so please. Captain please do. has to stand up, catch his balance before he drunkenly falls over, draw his arms back, collect up all the energy in the ship, and fire it forward. I'm pretty sure he has like 17 people that does that for him. He just sits on a chair yeah, and looks pretty. 8,000. The thing is, it's the battle cruiser captain. He's a badass. He gets to do that while everyone else gets to be his bitch for the rest of the little fight. He probably has like a button in his hand that he can just use. He's like, he's I am bored. Like, and I am a little bored. touch what screen. And a little touch yeah. screen. Yeah. He just selects like the points. Boy. So, no, the, the points. Is, he has his bitch do that. Then he does the, the Kamehameha and then goes and fucks his bitch. Well, because he is the captain, you know, it's, yeah. it comes with a comes with a job. Comes with the yeah, territory. It's it's the perk. Yeah. Perks, uh, have you noticed, by the way, that the captain from the the first uh, Starcraft the first did not state. he did not change. He just his hair just turned white. Actually, yeah, no, he's he got also older. got more facial hair because in the first game he just had a Stalin stash. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah, he, huh. has, he, has he, has, he also has like a cyborg eye and a ear. Oh. But but yeah. in the first game, didn't he have like uh, sunglasses or something weird? Yeah. Oh. So we can't really yeah. tell if he has like a bionic eye. And fancy cap and stuff. But he, he had a Stalin stash only in the first game. And then this game, he just let his face grow out and look funky. That's a like, actually looks okay. Smoking at least. So. He grew a manly beard. Yeah. How, how did he let them smoke on the ship? He's uh, a captain. 
fuck. <laughs> no, no uh, you see, like, even now, like, the stuff I'm smoking right now, sorry kids, it, it is an electronic cigarette, you can smoke it anywhere. So, probably oh. it's ele an electronic pipe. Which is I'm gonna convert. Cool now. I'm gonna go That's on the table in a minute. Technology. Look, he's the I, freaking gonna... captain. He can afford tobacco. See the well, thing is, that's, that's, that's not the that's not the thing. Is that the the, the problem with the hotel smoking on board thing is, where's the smoke gonna fucking go? So I agree, it's probably an electronic just... pipe. So it's just water vapor. Yeah, it's yeah. just water vapor. Yeah. Smoking that's stim it. packs. He is obviously smoking stim packs. <laughs> oh my god, he's smoking packs. I'm sorry, <laughs> all of you are wrong on that account. And then, oh, let me go on my tan- Some cuts me off, let me go on my tangent about electronic cigarettes. If you are under the age of 21, and you are smoking an electronic cigarette indoors, you look like the massive faggot that you are. Oh, and you no, 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 wait, 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 wait. So on the subject okay. of electric cigarettes, one thing right quick. Okay, anyone under the age of 21 that smokes electronic cigarettes, I have noticed this. They don't understand that one of these cigarettes is, like, a pack and a half of cigarettes. So they sit there and they smoke the entire thing and then throw up all over the place. I see how it works <laughs> all the time. It's happening. That's called nicotine poisoning. Yeah, it's called yeah. nicotine poisoning. It's called your retarded poisoning. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Is that as well? No, that, 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 that's the cause, not the effect. To get back see? on track. Uh, no, god reason... damn it. Ponzi the bronzy. Shut up. You're bronzy. You have no opinion here. I have lots of opinions. Uh, the hey, reason why hey, hey, it hey. can't be real tobacco, like, on space Bonzi station, on things right now, uh, that let's let hear oxygen. There, there's a chance of causing an explosion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but they're not, they're not in a, a pure oxygen environment. They're in like yeah, 20, of course they're not in a pure oxygen environment. Twenty percent oxygen. It will just kill you. One yeah, exactly. percent everything else. No, potato is uh, doesn't work like that. I you don't need care. to have a certain mix of gases to breathe. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's gotta be just right. Like he was trying to quote that, but his microphone kept shitting out, so... Yes, no. please, let's let's talk about how the Yamato cannon works. Wait, I just it's explained that is. minutes ago. You did uh, Battle Cruiser Captain stands up, does the Kamehameha, sits down, and goes and fucks his bitch. He exactly, so w when he does this Kamehameha, I thought about two options for what happens in the front of the ship. Well, one of them could be, like, taking... Uh, Waste produced by the engine. No. You you could you could just like turn the exhaust towards the front of it and capture it with some magnetic field, and because it's plasma, it would play nice and yeah. stay there. And then to propel it, you you, you just release uh, one end pretty much, and it just pew. Uh, that would be a bit more complicated. You you have to create like a well, y a rotating, forward moving yeah, thing. Yeah, well, but I, I mean. It's possible. Like, you just need a coil for that. Yeah. A huge ass uh, coil, but yeah. And On the other hand, I mean, if you yeah. see like the actual model of Battle Cruiser <clears throat> changes if you have Yamata Cannon. Mm -hmm. So, like, the coil, like, you, you can kind of see the actual, like, barrel of the gun mm -hmm. for forward. So. Yeah. Yeah, and the the other option of what I thought about was maybe it in the first StarCraft game it appeared like it was drawing things out of the air. Mm. And Actually, yeah, that's that well. <clears throat> that could be it was creating plasma from air by by applying a very uh, strong uh, electric field and just stripping mm. uh, stripping yeah. the electrons of atoms, and then you would have plasma mm. and. Again, you could just throw it at whatever you felt like, and maybe they changed it. You know, maybe they did. And to, to Wings of Liberty seems possible as well. <clears throat> uh, you know what it is. Recent research has led to the development of the weapon. It uses an intense magnetic field to focus a small nuclear explosion into a cohesive beam of energy. But they say to plasma. They, they well, I was about to say it was the, 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 the wiki. Can't argue with that. Because uh, wikis are 100% accurate 100% of the time. Anybody can edit a wiki. I just asked the teachers who never had it as a ch child when they did their research paper, which is why they banned it. But they say it's not a credible source, even though if you look down below, it actually has proper sources. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck you, why, teachers. That's why you, that's why you <laughs> quote those sources and don't say Wikipedia. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. How do you think I survived my senior paper, dude? 
How do you think copy, I have plagiarism? Everything? Copy, paste, <laughs> rephrase. <laughs> Pretty much. Copy and paste for the sources, <laughs> rephrase for the whole article. And I don't have articles I could copy paste. Like annoying analyses of Wait, electric circuits. So you just don't you uh, you don't have it now or in general you, you just don't use like articles. It's just a curious question. No, I just have nothing to plagiarize. Oh, I can't. <laughs> that's fun. There's no material like relevant. But that's fun. That's yeah, fun. Uh, I noticed that there are some Wings of Liberty uh, upgrades to the battle cruiser, like campaign upgrades. Yeah, that's some cool. of them can be interesting, like the defense matrix. Which is yeah. really which, on... which was also yeah. the first game, just not for the battle cruiser. Yeah. It was uh, for that, everyone. That's like an attempt for a, uh, how do you call it, like, like a Protoss style shield. Yeah. Which I don't know how you could like build something like that. Anyone has any oh. ideas? Should we? Mm. Are we going to cover the science? Uh, science. Oh my God, my Siri. Vessel. Vessel. Vessel work. Science yeah. vessel. Maybe later. Yeah. We, yeah we, Actually, yeah, do, let's, let's just science because... wrestle episode later, mm-hmm. so, because and then we we'll discuss the defense to... matrix. Oh, yeah. oh the, the defense because... matrix is related to the science vessel? Well, that, the, in what... the first game, that's where it came from. <laughs> okay, but the, the Battlecruiser does have another ability that we can talk about without having the, without, other than the defense matrix. Oh, you mean Red Line the... Reactor? Nope, that was removed in um, Alpha. Uh, I think he was going for missile pods. Large. Yeah, missile pods. Uh, so... Yeah, no, I'm fully aware, I'm just being a dick to my friend. Oh, okay. He's that been is very He's similar to the Thor missiles. Well, I guess, uh, I, I guess not really, because it it is more it is more similar to I guess the missile turret itself. Because, uh, I mean, I don't see anything that would prevent replacing, like, or, or not replacing, but attaching like several just missile turrets on top of battle cruiser. Yes. Oh, that's in the soul giant, and, and missile turrets are automated, anyways. So I, why not? I, 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 think the the ability with the missiles is more of a clusterfuck missile, if you will. Yeah. It, yeah. It's one missile that breaks up into multiple, not necessarily multiple missile turrets. Uh, and... well, they're just missile pods. It's um, uh, what's it's a spread bomb essentially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A spread bomb in the form of a missile. That just says, fuck this particular area in general. <laughs> like I said, it's a clusterfuck missile. Exactly. It's a clusterfuck spread missile. It's a good name. Thank you. I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll try pitching that to the military industry. And mm. I bet they'll like it. <laughs> oh, I, I can guarantee you, if you walk up to like a weapon design specialist for the US military and be like, I want you to make something and just name it the clusterfuck missile, he'll be like, oh, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, I've and it will only be used once. in this And you know what that item, you know what that um missile will do? It will freedom the shit out of you. Okay, that's good. Let's good. just end on that note. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, now remember, everybody. Do we have any scenarios that we want to discuss? Battle well, the only thing that's really left is the, the armor. Shit out of you. Um, what is with armor? What's about armor? Um, what I, I is Neo Steel? Yeah. Neo Steel armor has been like a staple for so many sci-fi technology stuff. Like it's it, like Neo Steel is even like what's used in Mech Warrior. Uh, well, let's, yeah. let's answer the question here. Is Neo Steel because I know someone out there is asking this, apart from me. Asking like, what? what is like the actual makeup of Neo Steel? Yes. Um, Slash, how do you we make? Do it later. We can discuss it later because we're pretty much on time. Hmm? Oh, we can have a very long episode. Screw it. This yeah, very... well, we can. <laughs> Actually, no, we can. We can, can also episodes. make it a different episode, which which we, yeah. where we will discuss a general like uh, Terran technology, all the stuff. Oh yeah, that is true. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure most of Terran units use Neo Steel at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a common yeah. staple. That's battle cruiser bunkers, Thor's, Goliaths, drop pods, yeah, everything basically. Because oh, no, Neo Steel is shit. 
Okay, so oh, we're just gonna sum up the battle cruiser armor for this episode as Neo still is a shit, and we'll continue that later. In yeah. the words, in the words of Lilla from Borderland, it's the tits. Okay, so I guess that's the end, unless we so, want to fly up another ta tangent. Uh, this like is to, the end. I'd like to summarize. The end. Yes. Okay. The end. Yamato cannon. Yes. Which is Kamehameha done by the captain. Its movement is done by big fucking thrusters. And it's firing fucking miniature midget lasers. And if by any chance you happen to turn on only on 35-ish minutes of this episode, don't listen to Potato Lisk and actually listen to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you all guys for listening. Analyze. And thank you all guys for participating uh, as Indeed, well. Indeed, anytime. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you want to find anything more on this topic, it's on this channel. It is YouTube okay. youtube.com slash Ponera86. Uh, also, we have a Twitter account, which is at AOSMOS1. Fonzie? Um, yeah, Facebook.com slash, slash Mechanics Anatomy of Starcraft. All right. Yeah, Link will be in the description like below. Yep. Everyone hit the like button. Button. I don't care if your grandma will see your Facebook. You will hit the fucking like button. <laughs> Damn straight. They okay. Sure will. If not, I will drop a massive potato on you while you are walking to wherever you go next time you leave the house. Is that so you can't the house? Watch all the episodes. Thank okay, you. So. Bye.